guys welcome back to the channel today I have a pin haul for you guys I've got a few pins from box lunch as well as my first ever international purchase I've got pins from Hong Kong Disneyland so um, I don't want to ramble on let's just go ahead and get into it the first pin that I have is actually a fig pin which is my first ever fig pin purchase and it is this amazing Grogu pen I'm gonna take off the plastic so you guys can see him a little bit better um how freaking cute is this like he's gorgeous i'm obsessed like you cannot tell me that is not the cutest little grogu pin ever and the thing is about grogu is that i like him to look accurate to the tv series i don't think he's as cute as like the cartoonified version of him so i really appreciate this that this pin is like actually looking like him and not that cartoon version where he has like no features so love that next up i got another grogu pin this is him using the force while he's in his little pram baby carrier thing last um star wars pin that i got is actually um another <laughs> grogu pin but this time with ahsoka it is a lot smaller than i thought and the quality doesn't come off or like i don't know when it's not a good quality pin i feel like it looks worse when it's smaller than when it's bigger if that makes sense i don't know you guys know what I mean? Probably not. Okay. Next, I got two princess pins because my main collections are kind of anything in the Star Wars universe and then princesses. I try not to really collect outside of those because if I did, I would have zero money, which is already becoming the case. So I try and be kind of picky. Um, The first one is another Princess and the Frog pin. I have a growing Princess and the Frog collection. I'm kind of obsessed with Tiana recently. Don't know why. It's just kind of, I don't know. I just love her little entrepreneurial spirit. So this is actually a really cool pin because it features Prince Naveen and Tiana together in human form. I hate how like they get so much airtime in frog form but not in a human form and it has a little slider which is so super cute but they're in new orleans together dancing and i just think this is the prettiest little pin cute okay and then i also got this maybe this is actually a lounge flight pin this looks like lounge flight packaging oh no it's an our universe pin um and I love this pin. So this is a Pocahontas pin. It's got a dangle element, as you can see. It's got the colors of the wind leaves surrounding her. And then she's on a boat with Miko, or a canoe, I should say, with Miko. And they're canoeing down the river, like in the just around the river bend, bend scene. And I just, I absolutely love this pin. I think it's so pretty and unique. And I actually don't have any Pocahontas pins. So I'm so excited to be able to add this to my collection. Last pin, which is really six pins, is this pin set from Hong Kong Disneyland, which is absolutely amazing. It features everything I love. It's the princesses, it's castles, it's... I just... I love it so much so I picked this up from a girl who does pick up pins in Hong Kong Disneyland her name is Catherine and she's so super sweet I will leave her Instagram below in case you are interested in any Hong Kong Disneyland pickups um, but this is for the pin trading carnival 2021 first of all let's take a look at this packaging because oh my lord it's so pretty I love all the flower details that it has and then i'm going to take off the front so you can kind of get a glimpse of the pins better so there are six pins in this collection um each representing a different park so we have cinderella at tokyo disney we have bell at disneyland paris we have mulan at shanghai disney we have snow white at disney world which I did think was a little bit weird. I kind of thought that Cinderella would be at Walt Disney World because it's like much newer than Tokyo Disney and Cinderella Castle at Disney World is like the more iconic one, but no, no, no shade, it's fine. Um, and then Disneyland, we have Sleeping Beauty, obviously. And then my favorite part about this pin is that the new Hong Kong Disneyland Castle, which features um, like 
castle elements from all over the globe and is supposed to be kind of like a celebration of diversity is featured in the center on this bigger pen um pin and then it has all the remaining princesses on this pin and so we've got jasmine pocahontas merida tiana rapunzel moana and ariel and i'm just obsessed i'm sorry my ring light is kind of glaring on this packaging um i know that's kind of annoying the only complaint I have about these pins is I don't know what happened with Meredith's eyebrows, but they are hot pink. And I think it's really funny. I don't know if you guys will be able to like tell. I don't know if you guys will be able to see in that much detail on camera. But yeah, her eyebrows are 100% like a hot pink, which I think is really funny. So Meredith was done a little dirty, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so these are a limited edition of 600 and I honestly can't believe that I got my hands on them um, because like this is an amazing pin set. I'm interested to see if these become much more valuable because they are just so gorgeous um, and it's a collection from all over the world. So yeah, those are all the pins that I've purchased over the past few weeks um these took about a month to come in from china but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a like and hit that subscribe button down below to hang out with me more on the channel um i have more disney content including more pin hauls coming soon so be sure to subscribe and hang out with me leave a comment below let me know what your favorite pin is or a pin that you're looking forward to purchasing yourself and i will see you guys in the next one bye